Alright then gang, so in the last video I introduced you to the idea of these different operators in MongoDB that we can use to perform some more complex queries and the ones we saw were less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to and also or as well where we can say a value must be this or a different value or the same value must be this. So in this video I'm going to introduce you to a couple more operators and those operators are in and not in or nin for sure, alright? So basically we would use the in operator to say, okay, well, a particular field is going to be within a certain range of values, if you like, or a certain array of values. Now, that might go over your head at first, but once I do a quick demonstration, it should sink in. So imagine I want to get all of the books that have maybe a rating of seven or eight or nine, right? Now you might be thinking, well, I can use the or keyword and I could say, well, okay, get me all the books where I specify that the rating must be seven or eight or nine. And I could technically do that, but a quick way to do that would be to use the in operator. So let me show you how that works. I'm gonna say db.books.find like so. Now I want to find all books with a rating of seven, eight or nine. So I'm gonna look for the rating like so, and then I'm gonna do an object and then I'm going to use the operator in, so dollar sign in, and this is going to be an array of values, and those values are going to be seven, comma eight, comma nine. So what I'm saying here is, look, I want you to find all the books where the rating is in this range of values or this list of values right here. So if the book has a rating of seven, eight, or nine, then I want you to return it. Now, like I said, we could have used or to do this as well, but let me press enter and show you that this works. So seven, eight, seven, nine, and yeah, that's pretty much it, okay? So that's the in keyword. So let me show you the other way of doing that using or. I'm just gonna clear that, and I'm gonna say db.books.find, and remember, when we use or, we say or first of all, so dollar sign or, not the actual field name first, and then we have an array of filters this time. So the first one is gonna be that the rating is seven, then the second one is gonna be that the rating is eight, and the third one is gonna be that the rating is nine. So this is gonna do the same thing. It's gonna basically find all the books where the rating is seven or the rating is eight, or the rating is nine. So it's gonna do the same thing and we get the same books back. However, the other way was much simpler to write. So we're just saying, look, the rating is in this array of values right here, all right? So then let me just delete that first of all and clear the screen. The opposite to this is not in. So let me show you how that works. So what I'm gonna do is make another query. So db.books dot find and we want to pass in a filter whereby we're checking the rating field and before we said dollar sign in and the value of that was an array of different numbers seven eight and nine and this meant that only fetch me books whereby the rating field is in this array of values so where the rating is seven eight or nine then fetch me those books however if i change this to not in, then it means the opposite. Now only fetch me books whereby the rating value is not inside this array of values right here. So where the rating is not seven, eight or nine, fetch me that book. So if I press enter, then we only get the one book back with a rating of 10. Now, let me just alter that a little bit to see if we get more books back. So I'll take off the nine. So we should get back any books with a rating of nine now. And we can see that we do, awesome. So there we go, my friends. That's how we use in and not in to query for documents and check a certain field is either in or not in an array of values.